Good morning, everybody. So uh, today, this morning, uh, it's a historic moment, and uh, you guys are lucky to be here uh, together uh, with Max, our talented engineer. Uh, this is going to be the first time ever that we show on li a live on stage. Uh, we're going to show a fast charging battery cell of uh, an electric vehicle. This is the cell that uh, we are going to charge. Uh, it's already inside there. I will talk, uh, we, I'll explain exactly uh, what is happening. And uh, we have here uh, a charging station. This is also the box that we traveled with, but uh, it's a charging station. For the vehicle, you need a bigger one, but this is now charging one cell. The idea is to demonstrate the chemistry of the battery. This is a new chemistry uh, that uh, is different than a traditional graphite-based electric vehicle uh, batteries. It's a silicon-based anode. Okay, uh, so this is the charging station. Here we have the box where the uh, battery cell. This is a 30 amp hour cell. So you need a few hundreds of these inside the vehicle, right? You build a pack from uh, smaller cells. But the idea is that if you take a traditional battery and you try to charge it fast, then many bad things can happen, if anybody remembers Note 7, for example. But you also get like a big notice in, in the vehicle, don't do this too often because you're killing the battery. So we are introducing here something that is different. And in a few minutes, uh, I'll ask uh, Max to uh, actually initiate the charging. And you will see and we'll compare stored performance with uh, like a Tesla, which is best in class, or, or, or Porsche Taycan, and uh, the market average. And you'll see how we charge from 10% state of charge to 80% state of charge. This will be in 10 minutes. Okay? So I want to start by showing you know, what has happened in the last 50 years. This is me here in 1973. I was 10 years old. Uh, and then Aston Martin parking uh, on the street. You know, we had the British uh, mandate in Israel and they bought all these Aston Martin uh, taxis. Uh, and I, this is my bike. I spent a lot of time on this bike at the time. And on the right here, you see the new Aston Martin with the new bike. Uh, this is not me, this is the Aston Martin designer. Uh, but you've seen the great progress that has happened. We don't want to stop this progress, right? And this is what Stodot is doing is really an essential part of this progress. So this is not moving here. OK, so uh, if we look historically what has happened, there is uh, this transition uh, from uh, 1.0 mechanization, like the, the first revolution in vehicles. Then you had the mass production, like a Ford for each employee line, then the automation. And now we are facing the uh, electric revolution. So historically, we are really facing something that the uh, industry has not seen over the last 100 years. So now I'm going to ask uh, Max here to uh, start the charging, where basically we are going into the back end of the, the system. This is all very real. First time that it's happening, so we are really excited here. Nobody has seen this before. You can tell your grandchildren that you were in Lisbon when it was first shown that you can fast charge a vehicle in minutes. And this product line, uh, I'll explain more about it. We call it 100 in 5. 100 in 5, it's 100 miles charged in 5 minutes. That's 160 kilometers. OK, next slide. So basically, what we see with the electrification, that there's a growing variety of models that provide a long offering of range. But what we need is the fast charging, because the lifestyle of the drivers, especially the young generation, they don't have time to wait for hours for charging. So charging speed is actually defining the category. And we are stored out, we are the category uh, leader. So what we see here, uh, you see a comparison between the store dot uh, charging, uh, this is the state of charge, the percent that the battery is charged. We are already at 18%. We started at 10. Uh, best in class is what if you would have a Tesla, let's say, or a Porsche, and the market average, let's say, you had the Volkswagen ID5. 
uh, and this would be the state of charge. We are at least 50% better, at least 50% better from the best in class in terms of uh, charging speed. And that's all due to the new chemistry of the battery. These are new materials. So if you think about the Nobel Prize in chemistry 2019, good enough at all, they basically show that you can take the ions and store them in graphite in a very systematic and slow way. But they didn't think about fast charging. This wasn't one of their parameters. Now that we want to introduce fast charging to the market, we have to totally replace those materials. And the, the material that we found that is best to do that is silicon. Now, this is not silicon like you are used to in a chip. This is nano silicon, this silicon powder that basically replaces uh, the graphite. So the range anxiety is the number one concern and the number one uh, uh, barrier for adoption of electric vehicles. If you'll ask any of your friends or yourself why I'm not still driving an electric vehicle, if you are one of those, that uh, you know, there's less and less of those that are not at least considering uh, an electric vehicle. And I thought about doing the exercise here, but I did it many times. People are moving to electric vehicles. That's a given, big time. Now, the question is, those that do not, it's because they are worried about charging. So it's either the range anxiety that you'll get stuck on the highway or the charging anxiety that you know, you'll get to the charging station and there's going to be a long line ahead of you. We are almost at 33%, uh, so it's a third of the charge. You know, it's only a couple of minutes. So the whole idea is that in five minutes, the psychology is that it is an ex the exact same experience as fueling. So what we deliver here, and I'll show you a one-minute clip of what you can do in five minutes. This is a psychology that will break the adoption barrier. Take a look at this one. What can you do in just five minutes? Actually, a lot. You can grab a coffee from your favorite coffee shop, text a friend, reply to an urgent email, or visit the bathroom before you hit the road again. With StoreDot, in just five minutes, you can charge your car battery for 100 miles. So what's under the hood? Meet StoreDot's range on demand technology, allowing you to get anywhere you need in minutes at unprecedented charging rates. That's range delivered fast. The battery cell contains StoreDot's unique technology with nanomaterials and a layered structure of proprietary organic compounds that make up a radical improvement over the traditional lithium ion battery structure. These batteries are assembled in the car and enable much faster charging. No matter how big your car is or how charged or drained the battery is, you'll always get 100 miles in five minutes. That's right, any car at any time. In just five minutes of charging, the car is ready to go and you can rest assured you have range on demand to get you where you need to go. StoreDot, charging the EV lifestyle. So basically, the, the idea of the extreme fast charging is the new chemistry, the new materials of the battery. So what is special about this battery? By the way, we are at 45%. What is special about this battery is that it fully charges in 10 minutes. There is no degradation. It doesn't die because of fast charging. It will die eventually, like all batteries eventually die, but it doesn't die because of fast charging. It has at least 1,000 cycles, and we have recently had a, like a huge press release because this was like our goal for next year. 1,000 cycles, it means that from charging, discharging, let's say 300 miles, 450, 80 kilometers, in uh, five minutes, if you do it 1,000 times, it means that 450,000 kilometers is the warranty of the vehicle, right? So this is a very big deal in terms of the ability of the car makers, and we have already 15 car makers that are testing the battery. It's the ability to provide warranty for extreme fast charging every day, consecutively, something that you know, a, a normal battery cannot do even once. We are doing it 1,000 times in minutes. You need to understand, this is something that was considered, and some people still believe is impossible to do because of resistance, because of heat, because of dendrites, because of metallization, plating, fire, whatever you want to call it, traditional batteries cannot charge fast. And if you do charge fast, 
then something happens. And what, what we see here is a comparison of all the models that are out there that are like best in class with the Lucid and the Mercedes. By the way, they are our investor. Uh, Tesla Model 3. Uh, and then you have the Porsche Taycan, uh, the Audi, and the, the Ionic 5. What you see here is that very quickly, like after several minutes, they have to start reducing the power of the station. The y-axis here is the power that is delivered from the charging station. They have to dramatically reduce it because the chemistry is not optimized for that. We're at 61%. So what is actually happening with Stordot, because of the chemistry, because of the silicon, we can maintain, let's say in this example, it's the 350 kilowatt. It's the full power of the charging station. And this is what we do here, the full power throughout the charging cycle. And this is something that no other car can do. If you try to do it, you, even if you try to do that uh, for the other cars, you get a notice, like after a couple of days, stop doing what you're doing. And I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to show it, but I have the screenshots from the internet, both for the Tesla and for the uh, Volkswagen. Do not do this more than twice like uh, in a month, because you get a red alert that you're killing the battery. And not, so not only they have to reduce, uh, the speed of charging very quickly. They also uh, warn you not to do this very often. So our product line is what we call 100 in X. We are starting with this uh, that we already shipped. It's 100 in 5. This is a silicon anode, like I mentioned. We are moving to 100 in 3, and this is a 2028 mass production. There's, there's a lag of several years be between the R&D phase and when we can actually deliver the batteries. And this is a semi-solid solution. By the way, I do not believe in a full solid state battery like some companies promote. And then uh, the 100 in two is like the holy grail. It means like the full charge of the vehicle is in five minutes. So this is the exact same experience as fueling today. And at that time, a decade from now, there will not be one person that actually does not want an electric vehicle because the experience is exactly like fueling. So batteries maybe are becoming a commodity because we see the prices coming down. And in the coming uh, few years, they should reach $50 per kilowatt hour. So you know, let's say a, a very big car will be 100 kilowatt uh, hour. So this is 50 times 100. So $5,000 will be the cost of the battery that today is like half the vehicle. So $5,000 is no longer half the vehicle, right? So th there is some commodity, but the problem is that as cost come down and the, and the range is actually improving, there is this critical missing piece of the ability to take down the charging times. We are reaching the 80%. This is our target for this demo. You will see, oh, it is at 80%. You will see that um, the state of charge compared to the best in class is at least 2x from uh, what we, you will see from any other vehicle. So once they introduce stored out batteries, they can uh, really double, at least double the, the speed of charging. We'll get to 100% very soon. So with stored out, you get at least 50% reduction with the same energy density. So we do not compromise on the range that the vehicle can go. And that's today already 100 plus miles, or 160 plus kilometers uh, charged in five minutes. So just very quickly about Stordot. We started exactly 10 years ago. Uh, we have 120 employees. 40 of them are PhDs in chemistry, biochemistry, organic chemistry, material science, quantum physics. The, the idea here is that these uh, scientists can actually replace the materials in a battery. So if you think about 40 PhDs, this is like two faculties of MIT, OK? All working on one thesis. How do you charge fast the battery? This is something that is unprecedented in, in the startup world. It's unprecedented in the uh, blue chip world. I put all the effort and all the 200 millions that I've raised, all of this is into this research. How do you improve the Nobel Prize Good enough at all from 2019, replacing the graphite with silicon, enabling five minute charging. Now, you need to understand once we have that, it's not just the vehicle. You will charge your phone in seconds, you will charge your power tools, you'll charge your toys, your drone, doesn't matter. Chemistry is chemistry. 
And this is what we are working here. Everything, and this is, you know, my bold statement. And it's 100%. Okay, and there's no doubt. Your children or grandchildren, for some of you, that I see, will not believe that we charged in hours overnight. They will not believe because we'll charge like that. Everything will charge fast with the right chemistry. So chemistry needs modification, and this is what we are doing. So we were able to assemble a, a great deal of investors, over 100 investors. I'll just name some of them. Daimler, Mercedes, Polestar, uh, Volvo, Vinfast out of Vietnam, BP, British Petroleum, because of the infrastructure, you know, changing the, uh, the petrol stations to charging stations. Ola from India, EV is our joint venture for manufacturing in China, TDK from Japan, Samsung from Korea. Basically, from every continent, we have uh, very strategic uh, investors that are joining this effort. So how do we become this category leader in fast charging? First of all, I had to keep the vision that fast charging is possible, because everybody told me that this cannot happen. Right? Everybody said that this is not happening, but we were able to show here, you see 84% uh, in, in 10 minutes. This is basically giving you the 100 miles. Okay, this is something that, you know, it worked, and, and, and I'm happy that it worked. Again, it was the first time. With, uh, our target was 80%, okay, so we passed that. We, we stopped, I told them, I asked Max to stop in 10 minutes. So you'll see what you can get in 10 minutes. This whole thinking is totally out of the box. This whole approach to change the chemistry of the battery is something that I had to bring all these scientists together. This is not something that can come only from you know, a material scientist or an electrochemist. This is really uh, a, an effort of all the disciplines together. And then now we, we have the, the thing that, that it needs to happen fast. There is this huge competition. All the large companies are investing billions in next generation batteries. So being able to move fast, being, being able to bring this uh, technology to market, and now actually supporting 15, 15 car makers that are testing the battery is a huge effort that is currently, this is our, our major challenge, is to move from the R&D risk to the execution risk, and this is where I would need your support in the future. So thank you very much.